IPRA, we've had a couple of uh, bumps along the way with uh, IPRA. So in consultation with uh, Tina, we are adding some disclosure language on the website and we are, we've reached out to the city to make sure that the city uh, in their public records uh, outlet has us listed as the public rec the custodian for CPOA POB um, and we're going to be drafting an automatic an automated message for uh, POB members to have on their email that will respond to every email that they get uh, that will respond to every email that we get that uh, lets the person know that you're a volunteer board member that uh, you periodically check your emails if this is a public records request then it directs them where to go for the public records request so that we can't so that we won't run into problems with uh, persons trying to trap the board into IPRA violations so we'll be getting that we'll be getting Amanda's working on the website she's been doing it yesterday and today so we're getting that all straightened out we're incorporating the language from the IPRA guide uh, for public record disclosure on the website and then we'll get that draft out to the board members for them to set up their automated messages. Uh, Amanda is checking with IT to see if IT can do it for you. If not, it's something that you'll need to set up for yourselves. And uh, let's see. Uh, can, I, can I ask a question about that if you're getting ready to move on? Sure. Okay, is there any kind of like unforeseen repercussions um, that we should be talking about? Any, what are, what are the potentials for having an automated draft or an automa automated response like that go out? <clears throat> Is there anything we should be thinking about when it comes to that? Um, I'm not sure what, what your, what what your concern is? I don't know. I, I don't want. I don't want it to. You know, initially, my my gut says that that to be the scapegoat for board members now or in the future to not check their emails because they've got they've got this uh, automated response that's doing that. So I can see that happening. I don't know if we care about that. Um, other members of the public who are not emailing board members for that purpose for an IPRA request or whatever kind of maybe feeling slighted by something like that I don't know uh, well um, I, I, I mean I guess it's a matter of personal preference um, however there is the potential for emails that are ignored that that contain uh, an IPRA request to subject uh, the agency to liability. And yeah. this, this is solely this is solely about uh, the IPRA issue. I'm not because I I can't think of anything that would that would trigger uh, a need to respond within a certain amount of time. Uh, but for uh, a NIPRA request. And there may be some others, but uh, at this point, this is uh, the solution that uh, Tina, Tina came up with. Yes. All right. I was just thinking about that last night when we were talking about that, so, or emailing about that stuff. Just something I wanted to ask. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.